Hello ji, good morning. I am in Indore and I came here to learn how do they keep the city so clean when they are always moving. It's like mini Mumbai, that's what they call it. So how do they keep the city which is always moving clean? So my idea is pretty simple that I'm going to spend next 24 hours it's morning 5 right now and I'm starting. I'm currently sitting at the start of the BRTS uh, at Chowit Ram. I'm gonna start from here, gonna go to different different places in Indore and gonna see the process how the city is working throughout the 24 hours to keep itself clean. What all methods are they using to achieve this thing? And they've been doing for I think last seven years now, six to seven years now. So let's go and check out Indo for the next 24 hours and it's mission to stay the cleanest city in India. So four hours and about 20 to 25 kilometers, I'm on the other side, other end of the BRTS, which you see right behind me. They started all from that place where I started from and now I am here at this place called Devas Naka. This place is called Devas Naka, the other end. Now the time is about a meeting. So what's happening here? There are people behind uh, this operation who are making it possible how is it running what sort of money is invested into it what's the idea how did the idea came up the person I'm heading to meet is the MP member of Parliament mr. Shankar Lalwani ji he has been working on this project from the start of it so let's go meet him and not only that I'm gonna meet him talk to him along with this I'm also going to visit the waste treatment plant over here where they are collecting the whole waste of the city uh, so let's first go to the plant with him then we're gonna talk to him about the project than the other cities that they are the cleanest city in India not only once, twice but six times for the last six years and I've been here at the West Management Center for last couple of hours and I've been around with the best people in this city who are the leaders in terms of administration and they've been running the operation here or the people who work here at this facility and they are the one running this whole operation day in day out and it's been mind-boggling to understand that how they are managing it or how detailed they are going into it or what all they are doing to make it happen amazing so done checking out the waste management plant over here not only that I got time to spend with the member of parliament but I also got to meet mayor of the city here itself. Now I'm heading back to Shankar Lalwani ji's home and I'm gonna have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him and try to understand the whole process behind this Indore being the cleanest city for the last six years. Let's go and meet him. So, many cities are in Indore. What is the thing that is in Indore? देखिए सबसे पहले तो मैं मैंने प्रधानमंत्री जी का जिक्र करूंगा 
कि उन्होंने लाल किले से जब इसकी घोषणा की थी कि हम स्वच्छता को लेकर अभियान चलाएंगे पर जैसे ही उन्होंने ये निर्णय लिया हमारे इंदौर की जनता ने निर्णय के साथ उस आह्वान के साथ खड़े हो जो हम डोर टू डोर कलेक्शन करते हैं उस डोर टू डोर कलेक्शन का हम चार्जेस होते हैं और ये चार्जेस एज कम्पेयर टू अदर सिटी इन इंडिया हम बहुत हाई रखते हैं यानी रेट में नहीं परसेंटेज कलेक्शन में हम मोर देन एट्टी सेवन परसेंट लोगों से कलेक्ट करते हैं आज इंदौर में कार्बेज कलेक्शन उसे जाता है प्रोसेस होता है उसमें हम जो खाद के रूप में गैस के रूप में लगभग साढ़े चार करोड़ रुपए तो सिर्फ इसी में से कमा रहे हैं कि हम जो सी एन जी गैस बनते हैं यही नहीं इसमें एक्स्ट्रा कमाई हो रही है जो कि हो सकता है कि अभी आम लोगों को नहीं मालूम हुआ कार्बन क्रेडिट कार्बन क्रेडिट में दस करोड़ रुपए कमाए हैं तो तो ये कार्बन क्रेडिट जो है हम इंडियन नहीं जो 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 हम 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 से जो हाँ जो हाँ जो हाँ जो हाँ जो हाँ जो हाँ जाते हैं एक ही सेग्रीगेशन जो डोर टू डोर कलेक्शन होता है एट सोर्स जो हमारी गाड़ी आती है उस गाड़ी का टाइमिंग का है एक या दो मिनट से ज्यादा लेट नहीं हो सकती है इन सबको कलेक्ट करके हमने अलग अलग सेंटर बनाया तो ये और वहाँ से कॉम्पेट करके हम टिंचिंग रोड जाते हैं तो सबसे बड़ा सेग्रीगेशन दूसरा है ट्रांसमिशन यहाँ से लेके जहाँ पर ये ट्रेट हो रहा है कचरा वहाँ के ट्रांसमिशन को लेकर पूरा सिस्टम बना हुआ है और थर्ड है प्रोसेसिंग और प्रोसेसिंग में नई नई टेक्नोलॉजी है हमारे जो टेक्नोलॉजी है उसमें खाद बनाते हैं उसमें गैस बनाते हैं सो so, एक और जो टॉपिक ओवरऑल जो आपने मुझे चीज़ें बताई उसमें एक वर्ड जो मेरे लिए सबसे ज़्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग मुझे लगा वो तो कार्बन क्रेडिट ये बिल्कुल ये आइडिया ऐसा है कि जब हम सी एन जी प्रोडक्ट कर रहे थे तो अल्टीमेटली हम उसको सेल करते थे और दूसरा ये था कि हमारी जो पते हैं जो हमारी अटल ट्रांसपोर्ट कंपनी बनी हुई पर उसमें हमने ये करा कि जो हमारी डीजल की बसें उसको कन्वर्ट करा और नेचुरली जब गैस की कन्वर्ट करा तो वो जो कार्बन था डीजल की कार्बन बढ़ता था जो पोल्यूशन चार्ज होता था वो हमको क्रेडिट मिला तो ये बात सही है कि और कचरा पहले जलता था अब जलता नहीं धुआं नहीं पहले कुछ ऑप्शन ही नहीं था अभी भी हम देखते हैं कुछ शहरों में कचरा जलता ही रहता है धुआं निकलता ही रहता है तो ये दो चीज़ ऐसी है जो हमें कार्बन क्रेडिट पर प्रेजेंट करती है और उसी को लेकर हम आगे बढ़ रहे हैं और संभावना है कि जैसे और आगे बढ़ेंगे तो और ये कार्बन क्रेडिट का फायदा हमको मिलेगा सो आफ्टर दिस इंसाइटफुल कन्वर्जेशन विथ मिस्टर शंकर लालवानी जी हु एम पी मेम्बर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट फ्राम इंदौर Now is the time that I head out to meet the mayor of the city Mr Pushpamitra Bhargav ji and try to understand from him as well that the position where he stands how does this operation functions and what role does he play in this whole achievement of this city let's go पहला क्वेश्चन जो मेरे मन में आता है जब हम इंदौर को अगर सफाई की ओर देखते हैं तो कि इंदौर में ऐसा क्या यूनिक था या फिर इंदौर की ऐसी क्या चाह थी दैट इज बिकेम द क्लीन सिटी धीरे धीरे पब्लिक पार्टिसिपेशन उसका फॉलो अप स्ट्रिक्टली फॉलो अप कहीं ना कहीं अब लोगों की आदत बन गया ये जो आदत बनना है दैट हैज़ मेड अस डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ऑल अदर सिटी कंट्रोल कमांड सेंटर है वहाँ बैठ के हम मॉनिटर करते हैं कि ये गाड़ी हर घर से कचरा ले रही है कि नहीं ले रही है अगर एक जगह वो दो मिनट से ज़्यादा रुकती है तो वी मेक अ कॉल टू देम कि भाई क्या कारण है यहाँ खड़े हो तो वो अपना पूरा रूट कवर कर रही है कि नहीं कर रही है दैट इज दैट इज मॉनिटर्ड फ्रॉम दैट सेंटर गीले कचरा जो लगभग 500 सौ मेट्रिक टन पर डे हमको मिलता है उससे करीब सत्रह हज़ार की हम बायोगैस प्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं तो सी प्लांट जो है हमारा उसमें सी एन जी गैस बनकर हमारी ही जो पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट की बसेज हैं उसमें वो यूज़ होता है और ये अधिकतर इसमें से कितना परसेंटेज जो हम री यूज़ कर पा रहे हैं या रीसाइकल कर पा रहे हैं देखिए जो गीला कचरा है वो तो पूरा बायोगैस में जा रहा है सूखा कचरा जो है उसमें री का एग्जैक्ट नंबर तो पर डे का बताना मुश्किल है पर फिर भी वन फोर्थ उसका री में जाता है सो दिस वॉज द ग्लिम्स ऑफ माई कन्वर्जेशन विद द मेयर ऑफ द सिटी पुष्प मित्र भार्गव जी but it's been way too long that i've been inside uh, the meetings or some sort of a indoor setting i really need to head out now and start going on the road to actually see the action i have been talking to people i have been listening to their words but let's go check out the action on ground around indoor for many more hours 
So it's the 18th hour of the day. I've been roaming around the city for 15 hours and now I'm at the one of the prominent spot of the city. It's called Rajwada. It's a mahal which was created by one of the king who ruled over this place and there are like a lot of people around this place who comes out to chill because obviously it's summer so they want to step out. They are here chilling around and there should be a lot of trash but which I'm not really able to find. Let me show you around. about what 20 hours that I've been on the streets trying to figure out if I can really see that indoor is clean and uh, currently I am at this place called Chapan Dukan and uh, so what is Chapan Dukan let me explain um, to sound it seems like 56 shops but obviously there are more than 56 shops might be possible like I am also not really 100% sure about it but it seems like when the place was started there were like 56 shops but now I'm pretty sure there are more than hundreds of shops. Most of the shops, almost like 99% of the shops are about food to eat. Uh, and there's obviously a lot of trash being around, a lot of waste being generated. And it's a difficult task, extremely difficult task to keep the place clean. But as you can see in some of my shots, the place seems pretty clean. And there are people around who are constantly working even at this hour at the night. They are constantly trying to keep it clean because obviously it's not that the city is already clean and it's gonna stay clean. People are generating waste, people are creating, are littering around. But I think the corporation is constantly trying to keep it clean. Let's keep checking out indoor. Few more hours to go until I complete 24. इस समय एक बज चुकी है उस हिसाब से देखा जाए तो आई थिंक कितने 20 घंटे हो चुके हैं मुझे नाउ सी द सीन हियर आई एम करेंटली क्लोज टू संजय सेतु एंड आई कैन सी दीज गाइस ट्राइंग टू क्लीन अप दिस प्लेस सो फाइनली गुड मॉर्निंग it's 4.45, just 15 minutes more and then it will be 24 hours that I've been out moving around the city trying to find whether Indore is really clean or not. It's been pretty clean up until now and which I already knew that it's pretty clean. All I wanted is to roam around and really see for 24 hours that how does it really work for Indore to achieve it. God, so I'm really out of energy. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm quickly gonna go take a nap, get up, and then tell you everything about my experience and finding from this 24 hours of roaming around in Indore, trying to see if Indore is really that clean. I'm gonna go for a nap. Good morning, Ji. Suprabhat. It's the morning, but now I'm up now, so it's the morning now. When I finally ended the cycle of 24 hours, I reached my house, I mean, where I'm living, in which hotel. It's the morning at 5 o'clock. अभी उठाऊं और शाम की पांच बज रही हैं। अब मैं आपके साथ शेयर करना चाहता हूं कि exactly जो मैंने सीखा उन 24 घंटों में, जब मैं इंदौर में घुमा हर जगह जगह और सारी चीजें अपनी आंखों से देखी और कुछ लोगों से बात भी करी, या तो उस सिटी के कुछ ऐसे लोग थे जिन्होंने पूरा ये ऑपरेशन को अंजाम दिया ह 
मैंने उनसे क्या सीखा मुझे क्या समझ आया और मुझे क्या लगता है कि क्या रीज़न है दैट इंदौर जो कर पाया उसने जो किया वो कर पाया और दूसरे शहर क्या कर सकते हैं लेट्स गो चेक इट आउट सो ही वी गो सो लेट्स फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट थ्री थिंग्स विच आई थिंक इंदौर डिड गुड टू गेट वेर इट इज टूडे फर्स्ट थिंग इज राइट फंड एलोकेशन और आई रियली फील एट स्टेट्स एंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स डू गेट गुड मनी but you know because of corruption the fund doesn't really goes to the right place and also the planning right because nobody is really focused to get the right thing done and in this project i feel that the intention from the start itself was really right on the right point hence the fund was allocated to such people who could really come up with such a good idea to do it in a proper way and then once they had the plan they invested the money on actual plan and we have the result first point second point what what i feel here is people's participation i have seen it in indore where i don't know whether you know it or not i was born in indore i have lived in indore for quite a good amount of time so i've seen it in indore that indore people really take a pride in keeping their city clean and that's now i am not talking about from the start obviously it's now people's participation i really feel it's important because now you're not the only stakeholder who's trying to make this thing happen it's kind of like you're a team and you're the captain of the team and you're trying to make the team win but the other team members they are not really feeling the same way how hard will you try and how long will you try that you need people's participation and it makes the whole game very easy winning is very easy when you have all your team members with you and third and last i feel here is the consistency that i have seen like indore has been cleanest for last 6 years and now this year uh, may god bless they become the seventh time cleanest city in india they have been trying really hard they have been putting efforts uh, randomly whichever city, whichever day i land up in indore um, i can go around and check out the city the car all these vehicles which are going around to take pick up the trash are working on each and every day each and every day there's no day when there's sunday there's no day like holiday it works it happens every every i mean just every day that's the three things i feel that which is really helping indore now there's one thing which i really feel that indore i don't know whether they do it already or not if in case they don't do already they should do and that should be finding people putting a penalty on people the people who are seen littering around indore has so many cameras that i know for sure um and again obviously it will be really difficult i know it has its own challenges it's not that easy as easy it will sound when i say it out loud they should uh, find a way that how they can charge people who are still littering around um, there are dustbins every everywhere almost everywhere i've seen it then still there are some people who are not really using dustbins and they are littering around they should be charged a fine because when there's like uh, lakhs and lakhs of people who are working day in day out and like millions of dollars have been spent on keeping the city clean and somebody is going against them and the money so much invested there should be a fine for it i totally feel it what do you think about it like should somebody be charged a fine um if they are littering around do let me know in the comment section now three things which i feel other cities can learn from indore okay the first thing which i felt is administration in other cities has to be the first person or first entity which has to take the step and this step won't be just one day of a step this can be a year long or two three year long step before people will start participating into it so administration has to understand that it has to be their initiative which will invite people and then they will be able to do it they can't really think that okay people will just come along and will do it quickly in a month people won't do it 
people won't do it because unka already ek life hai which is comfortable and they are going through this life they don't want to change they don't want to use their brain even for this much ki ye teen alag alag dustbins mein kachra kaise dalna hai i don't want to segregate uh, i'll have to read understand oh ye wala isme jayega oh shit ab mere paas agar ek theli hai jisme meri kal raat ki bachi hui dal hai jo maine let's say for example kisi restaurant se take away mein le li thi to ab मुझे वहीं खड़े होकर वो थैली को खोलना पड़ेगा दाल को एक अलग चीज़ में डालना क्योंकि ये वेट है और फूड प्रोडक्ट है वो दूसरे में जाएगा देन ना मैं प्लास्टिक बैग विल गो इन अनदर वन आई डोंट वांट टू पुट इन दैट एफर्ट हेंस पीपल वांट टू डू इट सो इन दिस सिचुएशन म्यूनसिपैलिटी विल हैव टू मेक पीपल अंडरस्टैंड दैट वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट राइट एंड देन दे विल बी एबल टू पुट इन दी एफर्ट दे विल हैव अ रीजन वाई शुड आई डू इट सेकेंड इसी का जो सेकेंड पार्ट है एंड फिर जो कुछ लोग हैं जो तब भी नहीं समझ रहे हैं देन अगर उन्हें खुद दिमाग से समझ नहीं आ रहा कि इसकी जरूरत क्यों है देन दे शुड बी अ फाइन दैट पीपल एज ए लाइक हेलमेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन इंडिया पीपल आर नॉट वेरिंग हेलमेट और नॉट वेरिंग द सीट बेल्ट देर इज अ वे आप एक फाइन उन पर लगाते हो तो उनको अगर लॉजिक समझ नहीं आ रहा है तो उन्हें फाइन समझ आता है दैट शुड बी द वे एंड थर्ड एंड लास्ट इज अदर सिटीज नीड्स टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट्स नॉट अ प्रोजेक्ट it's a lifestyle uh, it will take time to understand what i just said ki ye ek chhota sa project nahi hai jo ek mahine mein ek saal mein ho jayega aur city ab clean ho jati hai nahi it's a lifestyle indoor i am really sure we don't know it today but look at indoor keep an eye on this city for future indoor is really gonna do something crazy i am 100% sure about it that it is already visible on the map of india but it's really going to be a very big visible shining star sort of a thing which will be shining all the light out globally because ab inhone safai ko na ek lifestyle mein badal diya hai ye aadat nahi hai ya ye shauk nahi hai ye ek lifestyle ban chuki hai matlab logo ki zindagi ka rozmarra ka hissa ban chuki hai to ye bahut badi kuch cheez samne leke aa sakti hai सो so, ये रहे मेरे कुछ टेक अवेज फ्रॉम माय 24 फोर आवर्स इन इंदौर आई रियली इंजॉयड इट आई लव रनिंग अराउंड द सिटी बींग फुल ऑफ एनर्जी एंड ऑल बट आई एम सुपर हैप्पी दैट आई गॉट टू कम बैक टू इंदौर एक्सपीरियंस द फूड एंड द सिटी एंड गॉट टू मीट अमेजिंग पीपल बिहाइंड दिस क्लीन सिटी इन इंडिया आई विश इंदौर अ वेरी गुड लक एंड टू ऑल ऑफ यू पीपल प्लीज ट्राई टू मेक योर सिटी एज क्लीन एज यू कैन Uh, take initiatives on your own might be possible you can you end up sparking the initiative on a larger level in the city and one of the most important thing which i can ask you is please subscribe to my channel so that i feel appreciated and motivated give me more ideas that what should i do next where should i go um i really need a lot of ideas and i really need your push so that i can do more such work and and if in case you do not know i wrote a book and it's out it's coming out on aaj 19 tarikh hai aur book aa rahi hai 19 may hai aaj aur book aa rahi hai 5th of june world environment day ke din please isko publish kiya hai penguin ne jo ki duniya ke bahut hi bade publishers hain aap please is kitab ko khareediye aur isme padhiye bahut hi shandar achhi achhi cheeze likhi hain aur मुझे सब्सक्राइब भी कर लीजिए शिट मैंने बहुत सारी चीज़ें मांग ली लेकिन प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब कर लो लाइक कर लो इस वीडियो को शेयर कर दो किसी के साथ में और नीचे कुछ कमेंट में बहुत कुछ अच्छा सा लिख दो एल्गोरिदम इज़ अ थिंग इट्स एक्चुअली एग्जिस्ट और मेरी वीडियो आगे तक लोगों तक नहीं जाएगी अगर आप इस पर इंगेज नहीं करोगे तो, तो मेरी आपसे ये प्रार्थना है कि प्लीज़ इस वीडियो को संसार तक पहुँचाइए शुक्रिया धन्यवाद आप सभी का इस वीडियो को देखने के लिए अगली वीडियो में फिर आपसे मुलाकात होगी तब तक के लिए Tata bye bye sayonara shubh ratri shabakher <laughs> bye bye guys